Hi, it's Corrine, and today I'm here for Cut at Home. I'd like to share with you this Graphic 45 Flip Easel album that I made. And first I'd like to share with you some of the products used. Also, just to let you know, I will have links in the description box below for Cut at Home's website and blog. You can check out the blog for lots more detailed information and all the product links as well. So here's the album that I used. It's a, from their Staples collection. It's a graphic 45 8x8 easel album. And it has six pages in it. They do sell this in 12x12 12 12 as well. And I used the gorgeous botanical tea, the 6x6 and the 8x8 collection. And I've used every last bit of this collection. I, I've also used it on, I believe, two other projects. So it really did last me quite a while. I used the Graphic 45 Botanical Tea Collection flowers, and I do have some of these left over. I used the tags and pockets from the collection, and I also used the chipboard one from the collection. I used the, from the Staples Collection, the Shabby Chic Door Pole. I did also use some Tim Holtz Vintage Photo Distress Ink. And I used a Spellbinders Floor to Elegance die. I used the large one here, and it's S4475. So here's my album. The album, again, is 8x8. And originally when I was making this, and I, I do have a mostly start to finish on this, so I will play that at the end of this video, along with lots of detailed photos if you're interested. But originally when I was making this album, this was the middle page. This was my front cover, but it's a little too heavy this way. It tends to want to fall over. I can get it to stand up, but it doesn't stay real well. So I chose to use a middle page, which I love this paper. So I chose to use this as my front album um, page. So on the front here, I have a Michaels $1.50 frame in white. I love these. I wanted it to be very dimensional on the front. I used some pearl trim that I had in my stash and I cut this page into a banner flag page. Here I have a wild orchid craft flower, a handmade flower, several flowers from Craft Supplies One. I used a ribbon buckle along with, or a rhinestone buckle along with a pearl. Here is the shabby chic door pole. I added some pearls on the side and I did add a little bit of um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Picket Fence. I have a chipboard piece here along with a pearl, and I've also added a little bit of seam binding. And tucked behind, behind here is a tag from the collection. So let me start from what originally was going to be my front page, and I love this paper. I could not do anything to it. I would have if it were my cover, but since it's not my cover, I wanted to leave it. And then when you flip it over, I have a page here. This is that Spellbinders Florida Elegance die that I used. I only glued part of it down so I could keep tags and photos can be placed behind here as well. So there's some tags from the collection. I used a couple chipboard pieces from the collection, the cardstock flowers, and a large pearl. And let me just show you the back cover um, while I have it here as well. This paper is not from the collection, but I was running um, low. I needed a couple extra pieces. So this page in the back here and this here are from a different collection that I thought matched well. I added some pearl strand from Craft Supplies 1 along with some flowers. I used some of the cardstock flowers, chipboard pieces, and a large photo mat here with some of the border paper on it. And this here is a little 5x5 five five book that I made and it's accordion style so it opens up lots more photos can be placed. This is one of my all-time favorite collections from Graphic 45. So the next page here, I have a small envelope from the tags and pockets with a little journaling card pulled out. So a date or um, some names can be added to this if, if someone wants to do that. And that just tucks right back in there. 
I have a little tag at the top here as well for journaling and also a large tag on the side that photos can be placed. I added a little seam binding bow to stop it here. The next page is um, a, for a large photo mat. There's a tag at the top that I added a bow cut from the Cameo with an enamel dot in it. And I added some more of that pearl strand around it. Here's the back side of my front page. I added some of the border paper at the top and some pearl trim from Craft Supplies 1. So two photos can be placed here, one large photo. Here is this page. I love this paper. And on the side I have a Recollections um, flourish, a fabric flourish with some rhinestones in it. I added a chipboard piece from the collection, several actually. I added some flowers and a butterfly from Craft Supplies 1. And here's one of the craft cardstock flowers from the Botanical Tea Collection. On the back side of that is a large photo place for photo. I added some of the pieces from the chipboard collection and at the bottom here as well I added one of the buttons and some of that paper, um, the stamp paper and some flowers. On the back side I made into a pocket. I fussy cut out one of the teapots from the collection, added a little tag, some of the flowers. I added some of this stamp. Um, I had this left over so I just added that in for a little bit extra color. I have a little journaling card back here and I made a little bit, a little bracket book. So inside there's two tags on either side along with these little pullouts that are perfect for journaling. I love this tag here. And this is my favorite here as well. So those just tuck in there. It's a little booklet. And that goes right inside the pocket. On the back side of that is a large photo, again, framed with the pearls some of the flowers, a chipboard piece, and some of the tags from the collection. On the other side, I used some um, lace down here and I pleated it along with some pearl flowers, or excuse me, pearl strand from Craft Supplies 1 along with the cardstock flowers. I added some pearl at the top just to finish this page off. On this side, I did the same thing with um, some different pearl strand in the lace. I added one of the little envelope pockets here that they have with two chipboard pieces from the collection. And there's also a large pull-out tag on the side with some seam binding. And... Here's the last page on this. I added some of that border strip going here. I added some of this trim from Craft Supplies 1 with pearls. Some of the chipboard pieces. Again, another piece of that stamp. I have a large photo uh, tag here for photos. Some seam binding. Another one of the tags from the collection. This is just gorgeous. And another large tag for several photos. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see mostly start to finish on this, then stay tuned. Also with some detailed photos and please check out Craft Supplies 1 blog. All the product codes and um, lots more information and detailed photos will be on their blog. So check out the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.